for multivariable regression with Maytab, it's best to use the best subsets tool and the fit regression model tool that it gives. The best subsets tool is used to filter out the worst combinations of chosen explanatory variables for modeling a response variable. The best subsets tool also lets you compare R squared, adjusted R squared, and predicted R squared of the best combinations of chosen explanatory variables for modeling a response variable. It's nice in such situations as when I have, say, 11 explanatory variables or possible explanatory variables and one response variable. It will go through every combination and will give me the best ones. You don't have to select anything as you do in Excel, but what you'll have to do is you'll have to go to Stat, Regression, Regression, Best Subsets. It'll give you a little description and you can click on that. You'll get an empty box as I do now. And I'll go through each of these dialog boxes one by one. The first dialog box, the response box, is just the box that you put your response variable. And all of your possible variables will be appearing right here. And what you'll do is you'll click on it and then click select. Now then, the two other boxes are important as well, the free predictors and the predictors in all models box. The predictors in all models box is where you'll put any variables that you want to be in every regression model that it pops up with. But if you don't have any variable that you want to be in every model, regardless of how good it is as a predictor or not, what you'll do is you'll put it in the free predictors, which will allow Minitab to do as it usually does with it and compare them all. You can either click the explanatory variable and click select, or you can just double click it as I'm doing now to insert them in whatever box your cursor is in. You see as my cursor is in this box. I have to make sure I'm not repeating any. Okay, that should be good. Click OK. Oops, it seems as though I did have a repeat. So if you do have a repeat, what will happen is that it will come up with an error. I have nothing I want to keep in every model, so I'm going to click OK. And the information will be spit into the session window right here. And it will have the exact same title every time, but with different explanatory variables and explanatory variables and response variable. Each row is a separate model. That's a important thing to clear. The first column specifies how many variables are in each column, and the last little bit here specifies which variables are in. And notice that it writes the name of the explanatory variable vertically. So it's a good idea to choose short abbreviations so that it's easy to pick out which ones, because I have a big old mess right here. But you can see they correspond to the same, the same things. The other columns will give you information such as the R squared of each model, the predicted R squared of each model, the adjusted R squared of each model, and these last two columns right here you don't really don't have to worry about for this class. And that's how to use the best subsets tool for geo for I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry for Minitab. If you already know which variables fit your needs and you have found the, your best model with this, or maybe you just want to see what the model is, what you'll do is you'll go to the same file path, but you'll use the Fit Regression Model tool. Go ahead and click on the Fit Regression Model tool, and this will actually spit you out your equation for your multivariable regression model. For responses, what you'll do is you'll collect, or in this dialog box right here, you'll click and insert your response variables. And this box right here, continuous predictors, that's where you're, you'll put your continuous variables that have pretty much numbers. But if you have any categorical data, or if you have any dummy variables, you'll put them in the last column right here called categorical predictors. I don't have any, so this box will be blank for me. Points per game going to include all the ones I want. I want the first four 
explanatory variables. And I want to get more information on their regression model with the salaries of the basketball players. It'll spit it in the same place, but notice that it'll be right below, it'll be right below the best subsets data. Regression analysis. The first section that will appear is analysis of variance. You don't have to worry about that. The next section that will appear is the model summary. This contains the same information found in the best subsets tool. The coefficient section will include a list of each explanatory variable, their coefficients of the model, and specific things about their coefficients that's in upper level statistics. The next section is regression equation that includes the regression equation, the coefficients of each explanatory variable, and each explanatory variable exactly as you labeled it down here. And the last section is fits and diagnostics for unusual observations. So for each separate model, it's going to look at each of your observed values that you have in your data, and it's going to see, it's going to put an R next to it if it has a big residual, and X next to it if it has a gigantic res residual. And that's how to use the fit regression model tool for Minitab, and I hope these help you with doing multivariable regression. Good luck. Patrick out.